Assalamu alaikum viewers, I am your host Rabi Ali. Viewers, today we are going to talk about national security and economy of any community or a nation and how these two vital areas are connected to each other. Security and the economy, one way or the other, are intertwined. The sustainable developing economy is vital to create a secure environment. Especially internal dynamics are directly related to a stable economy. And stable economic conditions cannot be achieved without visionary leadership and with the determination to serve the public interest and well-being of the masses. Without sustainable economic growth, national security shield can be jeopardized by external and internal sources. As looming economic conditions create such an inharmonious environment where conflicts are established and get strengthened. The economy needs a shielded environment for development and national security creates the preconditions for such shielded environment ensuring sustainable economic growth and integrates it on progressive path on regional and global level. Because without security, chaos and confusion will result into ferocity which will not let economic conditions to flourish. An economy will only thrive if there is security for the people. Therefore, there exists a strong linkage between countries' national security and the economy. Viewers, in today's world, the stronger the economy, the stronger is the military power. According to Paul Kennedy, a nation's military strength rests on its economic strength. A strong economy can ensure strong defense. It will enhance country's power and hence will strengthen national security. The economy also distresses the lives of the people. As you all know, poverty is one of the elements which helps creating mafias and criminal activities. And these kind of illegal activities at the end of the day causes the formulation of gangs and criminal organizations, which further turn into the kind of groups who link themselves to the external groups of terrorists. This whole chain gets organized because of poverty and unstable economic conditions of any community and any country. And it is also a very well-known fact that in global and geopolitical scenario, lots of political maneuvering take place where sometimes strategic interests are being pushed and achieved through conspiracies and insurgencies. Viewers, as you all know that insurgents and insurgencies need two vital supports. Number one, patronage. And number two, logistical and financial support. So if any community or a nation is not economically developed and their security parameters are not well organized, then this very environment invites internal and external forces to seed and help breeding non-state factors, violent elements and terrorist groups. To counter any kind of insurgency of any shape needs well organized institution response by the security and defense forces of that nation, which cannot be exercised without having powerful military, financial and logistical backup. Concluding this, the weaker the economy, the more it fails to create new jobs, especially for new competitors. And then greater unemployment result in the rise in the poverty level, which propagates social chaos, civil unrest and breakdown of law and order, thus weakening the national security. Accordingly, in order to strengthen national security, a nation needs to possess economic security as well. Now viewers, let's look at our own country. Pakistan faced many ups and downs in its age of 70 years. And now this is the time that we should articulate our state affairs on a very scientific parameters, where sustainable and progressive economy should complement the paradigm security. On the contrary, a very cohesive environment between the civil and military leadership is needed to meet the both ends of these vital areas, economy and national security. If the means of life becomes hard to meet within the masses, if the unemployment rate is high, if the dissemination of awareness is not channelized through the education system, if the sense of citizen responsibility doesn't prevail, if the nation is directionless and having illogical and non-progressive behavior, if there are multiple societal, cultural and religious conflicts, and to resolve all these problems, there is nothing happening 
then this is a very alarming situation for any community or a nation. And the media, consciously or unconsciously, is igniting the conflicts instead of smoothening and educating the masses. The wholesome of this scenario is very alarming because in such conditions, no nation or community can achieve any respectable status in the world community, nor this kind of nation becomes a sovereign member among the leagues of the nation. All macro and micro indicators of the economy of Pakistan is showing that Pakistan is passing through a critical period of its economic security. This has been unpleasantly affected owing to Pakistan's participation in the US-led war on terror started after 9-11 incident. Pakistan economy and security is facing multiple challenges since the beginning of the war on terror. The economic fundamentals indicate that the economic security of Pakistan needs serious determinations by the policymakers to turn around the sluggish economy into its revival, strengthening and ultimately ensuring its sustainability. War and terror along with non-visionary economic policies formulation not only dented the sustainable economic growth, rather caused the damage of the social fabric of Pakistan, our industrial growth, and export potential received serious upheavals. Nevertheless, Pakistan is located in a region which has a history of involvement in different wars against rival ideologies. Now, as a result of rising militancy, the economic security of Pakistan is not stable, rather it is in the doldrums. Recent dreadful attacks in the northern part of the country, Pakistan's action against militancy, has resulted in unprecedented growth of terrorism that has shaken the foundation of Pakistan economy and state policies again. So now we can assume better and see our future destiny and directions. We need to turn around everything because all these things are primarily linked to our development as a nation. And this development cannot be achieved without sustainable economic conditions and sustainable state policies again. After achieving economic goals through the sustainable state policies, we need to secure this environment where the shield of security and the vital role of the defense forces comes in. As the shield of security mechanism needs financial backup, which we can achieve through sustainable economy again. Hence, it's a non-negotiable and proven reality that the stable economic conditions are imperative to have a good foolproof security environment. Hence, viewers, I want to establish the fact that without good and progressive economic condition, no nation and state can have an influential paradigm security. Summing up the above discussion, I would say that if we want to build a stronger economy, we should create an even stronger national security and vice versa. In the end, I will leave you all to decide what's best for our country and how we are going to overcome our problems. Take good care of yourselves and your national affairs. Allah Hafiz.